After 10 long years, the project that started as Final Fantasy Versus 13 is finally here. Hello everyone and welcome back to Would You. Today we're going to ask, would you play it with Final Fantasy 15? In 2006, Square Enix started production on a PlayStation 3 exclusive game called Final Fantasy Versus 13. As early as 2007, developers began to consider shifting Versus 13 into a mainline game on its own with the internal reveal of PS4 and Xbox One. By 2012, the game had shifted directors, many elements had changed, the PS3 version was scrapped for next-gen exclusives, and on November 29, 2016, the game was finally released worldwide. Final Fantasy XV is an open-world action RPG. You play as the main character, Noctis Lucis Callum, Crown Prince of Lucis, setting off on your wedding to Lunafreya Nox Flore, as part of a peace treaty with the Empire. Alongside you are your three friends, Ignis, Gladio, and Prompto, each with their own skills in survival and combat. The game begins with the Empire betraying the King of Lucis at the signing of the peace treaty. Noctis and Lunafreya are both pronounced dead, and Noctis sets out to take back his kingdom and find Lunafreya. Altogether, the positives in the game far outweigh any negatives. The storyline is engaging, interesting, and emotional, and you don't need to have played any of the previous installments in the series to understand it. The landscapes are beautiful, and the amount of playable content is incredible. Whether you are completing side quests or just exploring the open world, Final Fantasy offers hours of content outside the main storyline. The main storyline is 15 chapters long, and while for the first half of the game you're free to explore the open world as you wish around chapter 8, the main storyline starts to become more linear, almost forcing you towards the end of the game. While there is a way after this point to go back and explore what you haven't, I suggest wrapping up whatever side quest and other exploration you planned before this point. The negatives in this game come with a combat system that is difficult to get used to and not very smooth. After a few hours in the game, however, the combat becomes more familiar and won't feel like a problem anymore. Also, some of the interactions such as picking up items, mounting your rideable chocobo, or talking to NPCs doesn't register quite right and you may just find yourself jumping up and down while you try to reposition yourself. Altogether, Final Fantasy XV is a phenomenal game with a phenomenal storyline. I've already put in about 30 hours of gameplay in just the first week of release and plan to put in a lot more. This game is a definite wish list must for the holiday season for any gamer out there. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Would You for, with Would You Play It with Final Fantasy XV.